like, I haven't got a haircut in so long, man. How do I look? You look great, Wop. We'll start with John Blau. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get me a little head and shoulders. GQ. You know, I want to be in the GQ magazine, so I got to make sure I look good at all times. Hey, well, <laughs> um, in terms of the chemistry with Michael, I mean, um, obviously you guys weren't able to be on campus together a ton. Mm -hmm. um, obviously leading into this, how did you maintain a, a chemistry and a connection and, and kind of build your guys' rapport? I mean, me and Mike both from Tampa, so we always gonna we always gonna see each other. Like me and Mike see each other all the time. He, you, he either at my house or we outside throwing a football or we on the game. So me and Mike always together. So it's never not a time we're not together. So our relationship always gonna be brother, brother and brother. So we always together. We always together. Me and Mike always together. So that's my brother. We, you know, brother and brother. We always together, man. Not much more to explain. We brothers. We gonna be always be together. All right, Matt Weaver then Zach. Hey, Wap, how you doing, man? What's good with you? Not too much. Um, obviously, last year you had uh, you had uh, you know really good seats. I'm sure there are things that you, you felt like you could do better. But going into your last year here, and, and I know obviously the next level is on your mind after mm -hmm. college. What are the, some of the things that you are you've been trying to focus uh, focus on improving this fall um, as far as your individual game? Um, I really try to focus on. Aside from football, I try to focus on being a better leader. I want to be, I, I always say I want to be a better leader every year. Every year I say I want to be a better leader. So working on my leadership, um, using, getting my words out so everybody can understand. So it won't just be directed to one person. So the whole team can hear it. Um, on the football side, my main thing, uh, probably the main thing for us and me is probably getting back used to it. We, we didn't get to do spring. So getting back in the flow, just getting back used to it. And I just feel like everything going to play it, come out and play itself, play itself out. So, Really just getting back used to getting in touch, getting grabbed, stuff like that. That's really the main focus right now for us and me as well. So just getting back to the, the game back to being normal, basically. All right, Zach and then Kevin. Hey, Wap, how you doing? What's up? Um, you talked about being a leader. Obviously, you're back. Ty's back. Miles, you know, made some plays kind of when he had opportunities. Right. Last year, obviously, in kind of a loaded room. But who are some of the other young guys, maybe besides Ty and Miles, that that you want to kind of challenge to say, hey, we're going to need you this year. We need you to really start stepping up basically from day one here in camp, whether it's new guys or maybe guys who redshirted last season. Who are some of the guys that you think, you know, kind of as a senior, you want to sort of challenge to, to go to another level this year in the wide receiver room? To me, I, I, I challenge every everybody in our receiver room. I challenge everybody. I tell them everybody. I tell all of them. We gonna, one of y'all going to be needed sometime during this season because we play all the Big Ten games, so that's going to be a lot of getting hit and stuff because we got some big players in the Big Ten. So I challenge all of them to stay in their playbooks. Just stay in your playbooks, watch film so you can know what's going on. So if they throw you in the fire, you'll be ready. So I, ch I really challenge every receiver in our room, not just specific people. I want everybody to know everything. I want everybody to know just as much as I know. So I try to bring, I tell them, I bring them to my house. I cook food for them. Then we watch film, we um, go over the play. So I challenge all my receivers. I challenge everybody in the receiver room to know everything so we can, so they can be ready whenever. Kevin, Dylan Wallace. Well, a, a two part uh, question. What went, exactly went into your decision to come back for your senior year? And then secondly, um, you're probably gonna see a lot more double teams, different coverages this year. How are you preparing for that challenge? Well, the reason why I came back is because me and my mom, me and my mom, we talked about it. Like, I, nobody in my family graduated college before. Nobody has ever made it to college. So me and my sister, we wanted to be the first people to graduate from college. So that's probably the main reason, graduating. And then I can be, I can have another with my brother because I love these boys to death. Like, they're my real brother because I don't have real brothers. So I love these boys. Another year with my brothers. Most, most, more chemistry just, you know, we can build more. We can actually do more stuff that's, that don't have to be with food. Like we can start our own business. We can learn, we can just like start on our own businesses. I don't know, just crazy stuff we can talk about. You feel me? Then what was your, what was your other question? Uh, about facing about. more double teams this year. Uh, well, if, if I'm getting double teamed, I mean, if somebody else getting the ball. So I'm gonna spread the wealth guy. I wanna see everybody balling. I wanna see everybody doing their thing. So if they double cover me, somebody gonna be fry gonna be open. It might open up the run game for Stevie. It might open up for Miles, Deshaun. Rayshon, like it's anybody. I just want, I just want to see people succeed. So the ball finna get spread a lot this year. So 
I'm happy. I'm happy, man. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm so happy. You don't understand. I'm so happy. I'm y'all don't y'all if y'all could be in this room with me, y'all just see how much I'm like shaking and stuff because I'm so happy football back. You feel me? I'm just so happy, man. Y'all don't understand, man. It's crazy. I'm happy that I get to talk to y'all again. You feel me? Y'all got some, some of y'all got some ugly faces, but I'm still happy. I'm still happy I get to talk to y'all. You feel me? I'm just happy, man. I'm happy I get to be back in the, be back here doing football. Dylan and then Olivia. Yeah, Wapa. You know, What's obviously, you're, yeah, obviously you're you're excited to to be back there. I mean, I, I guess how how long did that sort of summer and quarantine feel for you? And maybe because you were so you know anxious to get back. I mean, what did you sort of do to to keep busy and and to keep working out when when things were kind of mm-hmm. shut down? I'm not even gonna lie. I was I was I just felt like you know the Tasmanian W. You know when they put him in a box, he can't really do nothing. He just spinning in the box. That's how I felt like. I can't really, like, it's, it's just so much. I'm, I feel like I'm in a box. I can't really do nothing because we got a quarantine. Like, when I was with my mom, she made me stay in the house. I couldn't leave the house because she didn't want me to bring nothing back in the house. When I'm up here, I don't, I don't really, really leave the house because I don't want to bring nothing to the facility. So I'm just like a tad, like the Tasmanian devil off Looney Tunes. Like, I'm in a box. I'm just spinning. Like, they, they, gonna, they, in, some, they, they in some trouble because they, they, they don't let us all out the box. They in some trouble this year. They in some trouble. It just, ugh. You feel me? I can't, we can't really do what we want. We all Tasmanian devils, basically. All right, Olivia, and then Stefan, last one for you after Olivia. Hey, Wapa, we haven't talked to you since the schedule was What's released. What's good, Miss Olivia? Hi, Wap. <laughs> um, I would like to know your reaction to the new schedule drop and which dates you especially circled. In oh, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, when they said we was having all conference games, that was, that was probably the best thing that could happen to us. I'm not even going to lie because it's just going to show us that we got to compete every week. Every week we got to go out here and compete with the best, with the best of the best. Uh, I'm not really worried about No, I'm just every week, every week I'm ready. Every week, that's, my, that's the focus. The next week, the next week, every week. So we ready for, we ready for whoever. Whoever won it, they going to get it. Whoever. All right, Stefan, last question, bud. Hey, Wap, I know oh, you're good. You, using your platform a lot these last couple of months. And I know it's mm-hmm. been important for you to take part in some of these social and justice movements that have been right. going on. How important has that been for you to, to participate in some of that stuff? And also how important has it been to have the athletic department kind of back you guys up on it? Um, it, it was very important to me that I was getting out there, letting my voice be heard and things like that. I just feel like I'm, and I'm happy that the, the um, staff behind me, cause it's not doing nothing but educating people more. Just edu- just it's educate, educate. If they see Coach Allen doing it, they like, maybe maybe it is the right thing to do because some people don't think it's the right thing to do to be on for the Black Lives Matter. Everybody don't think Black Lives Matter. You feel me? So to see Coach Allen doing it, I ain't gonna lie. It, it really made me happy. It made me love him even more. You feel me? So it's just big. So if they see Coach Allen doing it, maybe um, the coach at Ohio State, whatever his name is, what's his name? Coach Dave. Maybe Coach Dave will be like, man, Coach Allen on board. Let, let me get on board so I can have my players on board. Then it's going to start a train, chain reaction. Ohio State doing it. Penn State doing it. Then people in football doing it. It's just going to educate people, everybody, because everybody loves football. Everybody loves us. So they like, man, maybe, maybe it is the right thing. You feel me? Maybe it is the right thing to do. Maybe it is the right thing to care about somebody other than myself. You feel me? So it's just, I thought it was – I was real happy that Coach Allen got on board because I, really, I was really happy because he let me come, my, come in the office and explain to him, like, Cry, I was crying with this man. Like, if I cry, if I cry in front of a person, that means I love them, I trust them. So I trust this man to them. I trust this man with my life. So it's big that Coach Allen and the staff behind us. And I'm so happy that I'm part of Indiana and the LEO. You feel me? The way it's just a brand new wave, man. We really love each other out here. We don't just love each other. We love others outside of the building. We love our haters. You feel me? So I'm just happy to be a part of this team, man. This this um culture. <laughs>